Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about movies, how about clicking that subscribe button? About a week or so ago, I have put out a tweet that in the month of July, I was mainly going to be doing ranking videos. I have just so many uh, video ideas and I just haven't got to them. And so as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing the first letter movie challenge. I actually first saw this challenge in the beauty community for first letter makeup challenge. As I was editing, I realized I was technically incorrect on how this challenge is supposed to go since i am talking about movies i have my own little twist to it just in case anybody tries to call me out i'm really gonna try not to go into much of these movies they're all old you guys they really are <laughs> Now the nine movies that are going to be making up my name are not necessarily my favorite movies of all time, but they are definitely some fun favorites. Let's go ahead and get on with it, you guys. Representing the letter S will be 1996's Space Jam. Um, I'm not like a sports fanatic in any shape, way, or form. Like I can't even catch a ball. I do, of course, know who Michael Jordan is. And I loved him in Space Jam. I loved everything about it. I had so much fun. I am a Sylvester lover myself, but then later on in life developed a little uh, love for Marvin the Martian. But Sylvester's always been my absolute favorite Looney Tune. I'm actually pretty excited for Space Jam 2. The letter T will be for 2013's Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg's This Is The End, you guys. I know some of you are like, really? I love this movie so much. I saw this movie in theater theaters and I just loved it. It's an apocalyptic comedy uh, surrounding the celebrities. It all takes place at James Franco's house and it's it's so hilarious. I find it to be very hilarious you guys. It is a ridiculous movie you guys. It really is. If you may not have the sense of humor for that type of movie I get it. It's really not for everybody. Moving on to the first E in my name and that would be 2010's Easy A. Now this is where a lot of people really started noticing and falling in love with um, Emma Stone. I remember her from Superbad which is one of my favorite movies as well and I mean it's just a lot of really uh, good fun let's go ahead and move on to the P which would be for 2012's Project X now this one is about a group of seniors Costa Thomas and the cameraman JB really want to make a mark before they graduate and they throw the most epic party ever I honestly have never been to a party that's got super out of control let alone to those levels and i honestly have always wanted to go to one of those well maybe i don't know you guys i'm not really a party person i'm the one that gets there early to leave early because i'm just not about that life which is kind of confusing because then here i am talking about i want to go to a party like that I kind of film like in a documentary type of deal let's go ahead and get on with the letter h would be 2003's holes and this is where a lot of people started to fall in love with Shia LaBeouf I fell in love with Shia from Even Stevens. That was another movie that I've seen so many times and honestly it never gets old for me. So if you're a Shia LaBeouf fan, you guys, if you have not seen Holes, I totally recommend for you to see this movie. It's an old movie of his, OG. It's so much fun, you guys. It's about digging holes <laughs> and finding treasure. A is for 2002's All About the Benjamins. This is a movie that taught me that I have movies and not dreams because of my fat head. And it's just about diamonds and a lottery ticket. Eva Mendes comes on this as well. Ice Cube is a bounty hunter. He's after Mike Epps. And moving on to 2004's Napoleon Dynamite. Because we got to vote for Pedro. <laughs> now Napoleon Dynamite is definitely one of my like all-time favorite movies. We're getting to the end you guys and we're getting to my only serious movie on my list and that's going to be 2010's Christopher Nolan's Inception. I mean I was looking for another kind of ridiculous movie and I just kept coming back to Inception. I said you know what we're gonna have it on there because I love it. It's great. That's another one of my all-time favorite movies. This movie really started making me wonder like am I in the real world? Am I in dream world? If you have not seen this movie definitely recommend it. I think it's one of my favorite if not my favorite Christopher Nolan movie, to be honest with you. I really haven't seen all, well, let me scratch that. The favorite Christopher Nolan movie that I've seen. Because, I mean, I know I haven't seen all his movies. And I'm really looking forward to Tenet. 
whenever that may come out. <laughs> Let's go ahead and finish this off with the last letter in my name. E is for 1982's E.T. Honestly, I had another movie on here, but I just rewatched E.T. the other day, and I'm just like, dude, like, I'm still, like, in love with you. So, yes, I'm going to take what I had on there, and I'm going to incorporate this one. I, I had End of Watch on here. I mean, it's freaking E.T. If you have not seen E.T., why you guys it's so so good i mean yes obviously technology and special effects and everything has come a long way but i don't care for me like it, it just has like a nice little warm little spot in my heart as well and it's one of my favorite movies when i go to disney well i don't remember what part is it disney or universal studios i think it's universal studios um if yeah yeah can let me know down below which park it is uh, my mom really loves that ride as well it's i don't know if the ride still exists yeah can let me know down below i've been like 10 11 years since i last went so yeah et closes off my name um i had so much fun doing this challenge to be honest with you guys if you guys uh, like to play along go ahead and comment down below and of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll see you guys at the sessions bye